Hey everybody, this is Barton Holmes with Holmes and Owen Yacht Sales and Yamaha Marine Center. This is our latest listing. It's a 2012 Pursuit DC 235 with the flag blue hull, the red boot stripe. We've got black bottom paint on the boat. That engine is the Yamaha 4.2 liter, 250 horsepower XCA, which means it has fly-by-wire. It's a, a digital engine, digitally controlled engine. Uh, this boat I sold to the customer about four years ago. Um, he's the second owner. The boat came out of Maine. Uh, trailer, which is an easy loader roller trailer, is included in the boat. Um, the owner had kept the boat in the water behind his house in a freshwater lagoon in Jacksonville uh, called um, Queens Harbor. Um, so it has been in the water, but it's not been in salt water, which is nice. Um, the fiberglass uh, on the hull sides is really nice. Very, very minor nick here and there but it it really shows well we just had the boat detailed and it shows as well in person I think as it does in these videos little mark which can be buffed out but there's incredible shine to it minor scuffing you can see a little bit of minor scuffing there but a uh, little elbow grease, you can get all of that to come out. This boat, this engine has less than 200 hours, as I remember it. It's like 176 hours. Uh, he bought the boat um, with 90 hours on it, so he's only put about 80 hours on the engine. Tilt and trim system looks good. Let's do a walk around. Uh, the boat has uh, dual bimini tops, fore and aft bimini top. Uh, it has a cockpit cover, uh, which attaches to the top of the windshield, goes around the perimeter of the cockpit, and a bow cover. And then there's a full boat cover also that comes with the boat that the previous owner had had made. So it's got covers for covers. Very spacious boat. This is the predecessor to the current DC-235 that Pursuit makes. This boat does not have a hard top option. Not as big as that boat physically, it just doesn't feel as big, um, but uh, dramatically less money. Aluminum windshield, nice walk through. Helm area. Seats has got some flip up bolsters. Here's the head. Uh, that canvas you see there, it also has a um, three-sided enclosure. Uh, five pieces of canvas, uh, the fire extinguisher, and then a little porta potty down there. So we've got a connector piece that connects the front of the bimini top. We've got a side curtain, and then there's an additional side curtain, so we can Basically, other than the rear end, you can completely enclose this if you're going to use the boat in foul weather or maybe in the wintertime when it's cold out. Uh, underneath the helm is a storage locker. It's full of gear right now. That's the second, that's the big boat cover. We got uh, f six life jackets underneath that cover, and then the rest of the eyes and glass, which has virtually never been used. It, it's in really great shape. Uh, in the sole here is a, a very nice um, box for storage of... Uh, you can put wakeboards in there, you can, it's a huge area. You can do wakeboards, fenders, dock lines. On uh, the aft of the seat here is a small live well. There is a little crack in the plexiglass. Still usable. If you wanted to have it replaced, you could. You'd have to have it taken to a uh, plexiglass shop and they could duplicate it. Battery switch is over here. And then rear seat and the ski tow option for the boat also. This boat has fresh water wash down, so there's a shower that pops out of that, handheld wand that comes out. There's also down here. You'll see a, um, a hose bib there. That's for the uh, saltwater washdown, which the boat has also. Uh, you can't see, I'm not gonna try to show it to you, but in that compartment down there are the two batteries that come with the boat. 
Um, boat has, uh, I believe it's 160 gallons of fuel, so it's got more range than any other pursuit made. It's over 400 miles of range with this boat. Uh, with the 250, it tops out at about 48 miles an hour and a solid cruise between 30 and 35, depending on where you want to run the engine RPM-wise. Upholstery is in really great shape. Little storage box cooler underneath this seat. It's neat, well cared for, nice, nice offering. Very rare boat. There are not many of these out there. So uh, if you want to want a relatively late model pursuit with hardly any hours on it, um, this is a great opportunity. So if you have any questions. Feel free to give me a call or an email. You can reach me on my cell phone at 904-613-8570. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.